Hello. Now I'll show you how you can make a template uh, you can use related to calculation of uh, self weight. I'll give it a header uh, and the name could be calculation of self weight. Yes. And because it's a header, then I'll make the font a little bit bigger and uh, make uh, the text bold. The next thing I have to think about that is um, the type of construction I'm calculating. Um, so I could set the construction part construction part and um, that could be for instance a floor partition, it could be a wall construction uh, a roof construction etc. In this example, I'll make a floor construction. Or just floor, because it already said construction part, so just floor. Um, or it could maybe be floor partition. Like this. Yes, floor partition. A good idea <coughs> when you make input, and you need to change them to next time uh, to make an, a reminder, then give uh, the text another color. In this case I'll choose uh, a dark blue color. Then I know next time I have to change it. Now I need a, a, a scheme or a table. Um, and the first column uh, I'll give the name denomination. Yes. Make it a little bit wider. Um, denomination is each part in the uh, construction, each uh, building component. Uh, the next column, um, we need to find uh, the proportion. Yes. Uh, proportion means um, how much a material? Um, yeah, uh, if you had an area unit, and uh, then the proportion uh, show um, by a number between zero and uh, one, how much material uh, you have on this area unit. An example could be you had um, insulation on 50% of uh, the area unit, then the proportion factor is 0.5. Another example could be you had a truss system uh, with insulation and uh, the truss system is 10% uh, and the insulation part is 90%. Uh, then the factor on the truss is 0 0.1 and on the uh, insulation it's 0 0.9. Yes, that was the proportion. Of course, if you had the material all over, then the proportion factor is 1. The next column, we need to make the input for the thickness of the, uh, the layer. I'll name it T and the unit uh, meter. Yeah. Um, personally, I always uh, make the units in uh, sharp brackets. <coughs> yes. The next column, uh, we need to find the specific density and uh, use the letter lambda and uh, that is a Greek letter so we go up to the tab insert and simple and then by searching you can find it it looks like this lambda insert and close the unit for the specific density is kilonewton per cubic meter yes and now I had to um, superscript uh, the uh, number 3 so I mark it up and right click Format Cells and choose Superscript and click OK. It's really weird in Excel. You cannot go up in the toolbars and find um, find it directly. It's really weird. The next one, <coughs> the next column, it's uh, the self weight and um, that is the name DK. The unit is 
uh, kilo newton per square meter. Yes. And here I had to superscript number two. And the k is is a subscript. So it looked like this. Now I'll make uh, the column A a little bit wider. And column B, C, D and E I'll um, have the same width. So I mark them up and drag a little bit like this. Yeah, maybe column A a little bit wider. Yeah. Now I can see floor position. I need to move that a little bit to left. So I'll mark it up and control X and paste it into the column B. Yes. Um, the header of the table I'll mark up and use a bold text and I'll have a, a I'll choose a, another background so I right click and format cells and choose the tab fill and then I for instance can choose a yeah I can choose a light blue background click OK <coughs> now I need space for um, five uh, building components, so I count one, two, three, four, five, and then I mark up in a line, and then I'll like to have a bottom border. You can find it up here. Yes, and down here I need to have the sum of the self weight, so I'll write here sum. And also down here, I'll mark up and have a bottom line. Um, yep, and I'll also have a, another background. So I'll right click and format cells, and again, I could, for instance, choose a light blue background. Now I need to um, make the formulas. The self weight is calculated as the proportion times the thickness times the density. So that must be equal to the proportion multiplied with the thickness multiplied with the density and then enter. And now I had the formula so I can simply drag it down. Now I'll test if it's work. So I'll go in here and maybe set 0 0.5 in proportion, the thickness 0. Uh, 2 meter and the density 10. See if that's working. Yeah, if I can try 20 instead. Yeah, it seems to work. And if I take proposal 1, yep, it's working. Um, now I'll um, make the um, number of uh, decimals for proposal. It's um, I recommend uh, three uh, decimals. So mark up and right click and choose format cells. Choose the tab number and then the category number and choose three decimals. Click OK. All other um, fields in the scheme uh, you can choose two decimals. So I mark up here and also down here in the sum. So I press down control and then right click format cells and um, then I choose number and choose two decimals and click OK. Yep. Now I just miss the formula down here for the sum that is equal to sum bracket start and then I mark up the fields and end bracket enter. Yes. Now this part is working. Now I just empty the numbers here. Down here I'll have um, space for calculating the proportion. Um, and the, the proportion is calculated by taking the width divided with the center distance. So I need to make an input for the width and the center distance. And the unit could, for instance, be millimeter. So I'll go to column E here and 
make the input millimeter, so I make space millimeter. Uh, and then I choose space bar again and millimeter. And here I can calculate the proportion. And the proportion that is equal to the width divided the center distance. Uh, here I need like this. Um, you can see here it set give you an error. That is because you make a division with zero because there are no center distance. So I'll make um, just a random input here, 100 millimeter and 300 millimeter. This could be, for instance, timber boards uh, with a width of 100 millimeter uh, placed in a distance of uh, 300 millimeter. Then I know the proportion factor is 0 0.33, or in other words, um, the timber boards um, are 33% uh, on uh, one area unit. Uh, for the input here, I'll prefer an integer that uh, is the same as a number without decimals. So I mark up and right click, choose uh, format cells, choose number, zero decimals and click OK. Down here in the proportion, I'll prefer three decimals as you have here in the scheme. So right click, format cells, choose number and three decimal. Yes. 